everyone. I'm sure you've all been wondering what on earth is going on with us up here in Alaska. So I wanted to hop on here and give you an update as to what we've been doing. So we moved to our property officially about 10 days ago. We drove everything down from Anchorage and we've been working on getting the property set up to make everything easy, livable, and um, to just get it ready for building. So when we first got here about 10 days ago, we had a lot of snow removal to do. We were here back in January and removed about three feet of snow from the uh, driveway when we were here, but there's since then there's been about another two and a half feet of snow and it's just been days and days of snow removal. So when we first got here, we had everything parked out on the road here until we could get the skid loader unloaded and start snow removing. So we slept here for the night that night. And as you can see, the snow piles behind me are just massive um, to the point where the skid loader could not pile them any higher. So luckily Chris's grandfather was here. He was a huge help. Uh, he went behind Chris with the snow blower to blow the snow <laughs> over top of these big berms um, created by the skid loader. So that way we could open up this driveway even more. And then Chris went through yesterday with the plow and made the road a little wider because it's been pretty narrow up until this point. So the last couple days we've been working on lots of indoor projects um, just to make living a little more comfortable. We set up our little heater in the RV which has been really great. We had another heater that was back towards the bedroom that we were using prior to then but this one is a bit bigger and it heats the whole RV and keeps it at like a consistent 70 degrees so that's been really great to have. And then we set up an indoor cistern um, because it is still winter temperatures here. We can't have water in our tanks in the RV underneath. They'll freeze. So we had, we got an indoor cistern and set up some indoor plumbing for that. So now we have running water to all of our faucets and that's been really great to have too. And it won't freeze because it's all indoors in the nice heated RV. And then other than that, we've just been working on a ton of snow removal and then running back and forth to the hardware store for all of that stuff for the heating and the plumbing. Uh, Chris took a brief walk this morning, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's some animal tracks out here. Not quite sure what it is. We can't really identify it, but Benelli's been going crazy trying to figure out what's here in his property. So with all the snow removal that we've been working on, we had to widen this driveway so we could get the vehicles in here. Up until this point, uh, the truck and this trailer have been sitting just kind of in the middle of the driveway and the jeep was out by the road still in the driveway but it's been kind of a pain walking back and forth so yesterday chris took the time to clear out a spot for this trailer and get that underway and so now we can park the jeep close to the rv so we're not walking a far distance to get to the car Today and tomorrow, I'm sure, probably for the next several days, we'll be working on clearing out more of a spot for building and moving the trailers and storage because there's just been so much snow here. There's probably about five feet of snow in some spots. Some spots are a little less. It's been pretty warm. And when I say warm, I mean like 30, mid thirties and the snow will actually start melting and the sun's really, really warm that you don't really need a lot of layers. It's really not that cold in 35 degrees. Um, so with that being said, he's trying to move the snow out so the sun, when it comes out, can melt it quickly and it dries out quickly so we can build and put our trailers and stuff on that part of the property. is 
is clearing out next to this side of the RV with the skid loader. Everything's been kind of icy. What we've already removed, this big snow pile here is like turned into ice. So kind of need the skid loader to do that. And it's been a pretty big job because there's nowhere else to put the snow. I'm gonna give you guys a brief tour of our property or what's not under about several feet of snow. So let's go ahead and check that out. Over here, this is an old 80s Subaru that was left on the property that we'll have to get rid of at some point. Uh, but that was left here when we bought the property. So I guess that's our responsibility to get rid of. And we opened up this clearing. You can see this is pretty flat and it's pretty open. So we're thinking about doing some building over here. That right there is an old cabin we're thinking maybe from the 50s or 60s. Uh, obviously it's falling down. And then over here is going to be the site for our garden. It's nice south facing. It's got a lot of sun. So that would be a really great place for that. And up here was pretty narrow up until about yesterday when Chris and I cleared this out. He came through here with the skid loader. I followed behind with the snowblower and cleared out some space next to the RV so we actually have some space to move around here. Um, you can see our Starlink there so we actually have some internet. And then there's also this old cabin on the property and we're gonna plan, we're planning on tearing that down but for right now it's staying up. It's old, falling apart, it's poorly built. But up here is where we're planning on building. You can see it's already pretty cleared out. So between today and tomorrow, we're going to be working on clearing all of the snow out of here so we can start building um, and getting this ground thawed when the sun is out. And what's really great about this spot, what we really like, is back here through these trees, when you're up at the edge of this uh, portion of the property, you can actually see the Cook Inlet and the mountain range. So that's really awesome. That's why we want to build right here. We'll have a nice view of the mountains and it's already a nice clear spot. It's high ground. It's not swampy. If you're familiar with Alaska, I'd say about 80% of it is pure swamp. So we got really lucky here with a lot of high ground that's not swampy. And that's another reason why we want to build right here. And walk around this cabin and show you the view down a little farther on the other side of the property. So we have about nine acres here, which is really great. Um, we're pretty secluded. You can see the neighbors on one side, but they actually own a ton of property. So we are fairly secluded back here. So I'm behind the cabin right now and we own all the way back pretty much as far as you can see right here and there's a big hill that goes down to a creek that follows from here all the way down to the road that I started this video on. So that's really awesome that we'll have a creek through there. I'm sure there will be lots of wildlife. Can't see them now because they were covered up with the snow the last couple days, but there were a lot of moose tracks. Um, there's a lot of snowshoe hare tracks. So we're hoping to see a lot of wildlife through here. This plan is to do a lot of snow removal, get that spot where we're planning to build uh, removed of snow. So that way we can start putting materials there and clear out next to the RV. And I did forget to mention today, we were rudely awakened by a 5.4 magnitude earthquake uh, about seven o'clock this morning. We were dead asleep and all of a sudden the RV just started swaying back and forth. Canned food was falling everywhere. Dishes were falling everywhere. It was just a mess and I keep getting earthquake surprises every time I open a cabinet something falls out at me. So that was fun. Um, it was not our first earthquake that we felt since being in Alaska, but it was definitely our strongest earthquake that we felt. Um, it was a little scary at first, especially when you're dead asleep and the whole RV is just swaying back and forth. So that was quite fun. Um, but like I said, today is full of snow removal. That's going to be the next several days for us. 
it's snow removal, so we'll keep you guys updated. Did you find yourself a stick? Did you find a stick? This isn't working as planned. You're getting it. Keep going, you almost got it. <laughs> 